If you've been wondering whether automated trading or manual trading is best for you, I'll give you an answer. We'll look at the pros and cons of algo trading and manual trading, which one is better for you. There's of course pros and cons to each of them, but I want to have you make a better decision on whether you should trade algos, either call your own algo or get someone else's algos, or still trade manually, either trade your own strategy or trade someone else's strategy in the market. So let's dive right in. I'm curious. Alright, so I thought the best way for me to explain this is through a nice drawing here because my drawings are always beautiful and very good to understand. Anyway, we'll go through this and I want to show you how this all works. So I'll go to the pros and cons. We'll go with the pros first. Pros of algo trading, then we'll go with the pros of manual trading and we'll go through this order. Okay, the biggest benefit here of algo trading is that you need a lot less time. So the time involvement for algo trading is a lot less than for manual trading. You don't have to be first in front of your chart. Chart time is almost gone because you don't have to monitor the market all the time necessarily, which is of course a very good thing. For people who are short on time, don't have time for trading, have a busy job, busy business or something, busy career or a business that takes a lot of their time. Algo trading is going to make it a lot easier to do things and take trades, but without being there all the time at the charts. Now, the, on the opposite side with manual trading, the, the good thing is that you have a lot more flexibility and you can use also discretion. So if you see a trade in the market, you have to enter it because of your rules, but you think it's not a good trade because of this condition in the market you didn't see before, you don't have to enter. You can just skip it, go right away with the next trade. And that for some people can help them become better, can help them avoid a lot of bad trades. For some people, it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be not much of a difference. So it depends what it is for you exactly. But it's just a good thing to have, of course, as always. You can also, when you trade manually, change your mind on any given trade. So that could be a good thing and a bad thing. So let's say you have entered a trade, then it's going against you, then things start to change. You know it's gonna be a bad trade probably. You know it's probably gonna be a losing trade anyway. So you can close it, you can just change it if you want. You can change the settings around it. With an algo, you cannot really do it because the algo will take trades as, as per your strategy. You'll be right away with all the good rules directly, but you cannot really change the trades. You could still close the trade, but it's not something many algo traders will do anyway. So you want to let the trades run, and that means you don't have a lot of, of playing room with the trade. Algo trading on the other side is very systematic. So for people who like more systematic rules-based trading, this is very good. Now, of course, the good thing about this is that you cannot screw up because the rules are already all coded. You don't have to, you cannot change the rules just directly with the algo. It will be really hard to do because you gotta code it, of course. Uh, the rules are there, they're in place. They will take the trades as per the rules and you cannot really screw up any of the rules. That is a good thing, of course, for many people. And at the same time, you will have a lot less emotions that can affect your trading. Think about when you place trades manually, you have to be in the market. Therefore, you have to see all the trades taken and then therefore you can have emotions, fear, greed, anxiety, uh, you can be over trading also, and that makes it a lot less easy to trade. So algos kind of eliminate that. Now you will still have emotions with the algo because you will still feel like, oh, I should turn it off, I should turn it back on, I should increase the risk, I should change the settings here. But you can learn to deal with those things a lot easier than when you trade manually, in my opinion, of course. I've done both manual and algo trading, now I'm still doing both myself. And I can see a big difference with algo trading being more straightforward and manual trading being a little bit more where you have to manage your emotions better. Now, that is not to say though that with manual trading, you get a much, much better understanding of the market. With algo trading, you kind of like lose your touch a little bit of how the market behaves, what things are happening, what news are coming up. You kind of lose that touch a little bit more. So you gotta be careful, like still looking back at the market, still learning new things about the market because you wouldn't want to just like be completely away from the market and never look at the market and how things behave. So you understand the market much better when you trade manually because you see the moves happening, you see it in real time. Compared to with Nago, we just look back, it's a different thing. Right, I'm sure there are more pros to it, but I want to go on the cons. Discuss a few things that might not be as good with both algos and manual. Starting with when you trade algos, the setup is a little bit more complex. Okay, you've got to put the algo on your chart correctly, you've got to change the settings correctly. You also got to, we'll discuss this later when it comes to the tools, is you need more resources. So you might need to like have a VPS if you want to take trades 24-5 all the time, 24 hours a day, so that's important. Uh, but the, the setup might be a bit more complex for people who are not so good with technology or they didn't use MT4, MT5 before. There's a bit more things you have to do to set up the algo correctly. You have to enable auto trading, you have to enable it on a few places in MT4. So a bit more complex here. Again, not crazy, but still, still more complex. 
in general, if you set up a whole lot go into less than two hours on NT4, if you're a bit more experienced to it, like do your, do your testing a little bit, play with the settings a little bit, and then put the algo live on it. Uh, but some people might take more time than this. But it's something to think about here. I'm not giving you the, all the cons here because I want you to understand things better. Not because they're necessarily all like big cons for me also, but you gotta understand these things. With manual trading, we get the other side of the story, which is manual backtesting. I know not everyone like backtesting, I think it's a good thing, but it takes a long time. So you gotta be able to go through the manual backtesting, take trades in the past with your platform manually. Either you get like a backtesting software, which of course will cost you money, or you just do it in your own platform, but that will take a long time to track things and to go through things. Uh, so that's definitely a con here for manual trading. I should add to the pros of Agos is you have automated backtesting which in itself isn't that easy to do because you gotta download some data that is gonna be good data, sometimes ideally some thick data uh, to do your backtest, can be more high quality. Then you gotta run your backtest, which still takes a long time, but it's automated, so you don't have to do anything there. You can just leave your computer run and go outside. If you just do like a quick control point backtest, it's gonna be very quick. It will take you a maybe five minutes to do the backtest for like many, many years. Uh, so that's a good thing, of course, but you gotta kind of learn how to do it correctly to make sure your backtest will be valid with the right data, the right script and everything, the right settings. Uh, you can also optimize your backtest, which is a very good feature. So we'll see which characteristic works better, which setting works the best for your algo. That is a huge, huge time saver. Because manually you have to do your backtest once, then twice, and three times to figure out what setting worked the best. That is very annoying. And the other con of manual trading is you gotta be very careful about overtrading. So you can overtrade a lot more. Because of course you're at the mercy of your emotions. If you feel like you gotta take a trade now, you wanna jump in the market quickly, you might jump in. And that means that we can overtrade. We can take trades we're not supposed to take. While the ego will just follow the strategy directly, take the trades, then close them and then go away and that's it. So a big, big difference here. With algo trading, you gotta be very careful of the filters because usually when we trade live in the market, we kind of understand when we should trade the strategy, when we should not trade it. If we see a candle stick that's really small, we might automatically avoid it based on our thinking, but the algo won't do that. The algo will just trade the rules you give it. And if you give it some rules, but you don't make the rules complete, it will still take the trades no matter what. So you gotta call some more filters to be able to reduce when it's taking trades. Uh, usually it's gonna take too many trades at first where you wouldn't take them necessarily manually. It will take these trades, you gotta call some filters, reduce the number of trades, make sure it's not trading in certain conditions, make sure it's trading on one, when it's only big candlesticks and a volatility in the market. So all these things need to be coded in the algo. Otherwise you won't be able to have it trade like you would trade manually yourself. You won't be able to trade and have good results in all market conditions. And that's a big thing. Now the other thing is you gotta also learn when to turn it off. There's gonna be times where your algo won't work well. It's gonna be in a condition where it's not prone to work well in the market. So it's gonna take all losing trades sometimes and happens quite a bit for some algos. So learning to turn it off, which you don't wanna turn it off like every week when it's not working. You wanna wait a little bit more. You gotta have a certain condition to turn the algo off, then turn it back on later. When it's really not working, you can do that, but that's something you gotta learn. Like you don't wanna turn it off every week or every time you have a loss, that would be a bad, bad thing, of course. You gotta let it go through some drawdown, that's normal, but then when it's too much drawdown, then you can turn it off, of course. Uh, but that's, that's a skill to learn. With manual trading, you have, of course, more mistakes possible in terms of taking the wrong trades, not following your plan, all these are mistakes you can do. And it's also, I would say, like I said before a little bit, it's tougher to maintain your mindset or your state of mind. So what that means is it's very easy in, in manual trading to have a bad run, then you feel bad about yourself, then you make some more mistakes because of it, then you feel fear, then you feel all these emotions coming up, you lose your confidence a bit more. Uh, these things are very tough to maintain. Now with the algo, you can still lose confidence. Uh, if the algo is not working really well, you can still lose it. You can still feel bad about your strategy, of course, but it's a lot, lot more the case in manual trading here. Also, I gotta point out, you need to be at the charts to trade in general. Now, sure you could like, do some like set and forget, put it in the morning, leave for your day, then come back at night and have your trades being all taken care of. Sure, that's possible. But you still need to look at the chart every day. You still need to go back to the trades and it still requires some chart time. With algo trading, you just let it run. You, re you review your results on a weekly basis. I've done a video where I show exactly my routine for algo trading. I'll leave it here in the corner. You can watch just after. It will show you how I do my algos, how I run them, how I review the performance. But usually once a week is all you need to review your performance. I do this myself every Sunday. I go back to all my trades. That's only one time a week. So during the week, I'm free to do whatever I want when I'm not trading manually which is of course a good thing, and you are able to do this really well. So how this was useful, uh, like I said, a very quick thing here is that you don't have to do only one of them, you can do both. Okay, so if you wanna benefit from both of 
them both algo trading and manual trading can still do both you can still work on these two things combined at the same time okay that's very possible i wouldn't just do one in case you like we really have to do only one but you can still do both manual and algos it uh, works well for me i've been doing this for the past four years or so maybe a little bit more of both algos and manual and it's been working for me pretty well speaking of which i just reopened a few spots in my algo nation program it's a program where i teach people how to run algos how to use my own algos for their own trading how to run them, manage them, review them, and all that stuff. It takes a multiple, like I said, two hours to set up, maybe a bit more for other people, but it's how I'm able to make some returns every month that are fully automated. I don't do anything about them. I don't tweak them at all. I just let them run throughout the month, review the results, and then adjust from there. If that's something you wanna learn how to do, check out the link below. I've put all the details there. You'll be able to see also the performance, how these algo work, all that stuff is gonna be there. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on the page there. There's gonna be a chat button to chat with me directly if you want. I'll answer your questions at any time. And with that being said, make sure you are subscribed. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of my future videos. I publish like this three a week, one interview every Sunday, two videos during the week to teach you stuff about trading that's useful, some lessons, my own experience, and you can learn from those, of course. And with that being said, I'll catch my flight today. <laughs> back to Canada for a two weeks and I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.